What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to make a decorative rug using toothpicks and bubblegum. And I'm all out of bubblegum. But moving on with the Eagle Moss Ghostbusters Ecto-1 kits. We're still on issue number 14. We're on the uh, third assembly of issue 14. There's the magazine. Here are our pieces. So let's get down to it. Because as always, ain't nothing to it. But to do it. Now this is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a quick one this week. But that's okay. I got a little something extra. A little something extra to show you guys. Because Eagle Moss uh, did send out a little extra goodie. So yeah, we don't have a... Uh, not a lot here. Not a lot here. That is it. That's all it's in the bag. Get out of here. Get out of my life. That's a part. That's a part. These are screws. And alrighty. So we got that. And now let's open up our Instalaciones. Ay! Okay, Instalaciones! Ay! Okay, so we are... Where are we? We are here! We are here, and we are doing what? We're on stage 49, the driver's side rear workstation. Cool! Okay, so what are we doing here? Exactly, so we are bringing in this piece, and it is getting what? It is getting this piece, it looks like. Get out, get out. Get out, get out, I said, get out, okay. So this is going, where exactly? This is going seemingly right here in this little hole, little post and a hole. And this is getting affixed with a screw. This is getting an EP screw. So much pee and lots of pee. Been so much pee, so much pee lately. It's because me. What we, bleh, this is where my tongue stops working. It's because we've been working with a lot of plastic parts in these past few uh, stages. So, hence all the pee because they're going into plastic. Oops, I forgot to turn this back around. Boop. There we go. That's the right bit. Alrighty. So this is going right in here, and we get it started, and then. Oh, screw! How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? As always, hope everyone is doing well. Everyone staying safe and all that good stuff. Me, I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. I'm building a driver's side rear workstation for my Ecto One. That's what I'm doing. That's my day. <laughs> all right, so we've done that, and now uh, what are we doing? We are bringing in this piece. Right here. Get out. Get out! There we go. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this is going in. Why do you have to fight me? Why? Why you gotta be like that? Why? Huh? Huh? Don't even. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. there okay, um, so <laughs> where is this going? Sometimes you gotta be stern with these things, okay? Sometimes you gotta be stern with them. Anyway. Gotta make them, gotta, 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 gotta learn them who's the boss around here, you know? Okay, so uh, this is going like this. So it goes in this specific orientation. Correct? Is this... Am I missing something? I think I am. Oh, I don't have this. Oh, you know what's happening? I don't have this perfectly lined up. It's kind of moved a little bit. Let me just loosen the screw just a little bit. And that should then allow us to get this in the way it should be. Boom. There we go. That's supposed to sit flush like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We got it. We got it. We got this. Hooray. And we're using another EP screw. EP screw, yeah. 
Beep, beep, beep. Just need one. I don't need two screws now. Only need one. Uh, only one screw. Uh, only one screw for me and you. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 okay. Alrighty, so there we go. Get all snug. Get everything all nice and snug like. There we go. And we have done that. <laughs> and we have done that. And we are, that is done. We're done here. Yay. <laughs> Good. It was a quick one, but hey, progress is progress. This is what the assembled piece should look like. This is what the assembled piece looks like. There we go. Hooray. Hooray. Wow, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> there's a lot going on up there. Look at, all, look, at all those, look at all those ports. Look at all that. That's crazy. A lot of accoutrement going, going to be sitting up here, apparently. But yeah, there you go. We have uh, the beginning of the driver's side rear workstation. It has begun. It has begun. But there you go. We're done with this stage of the build. But we're not done yet. No, we're not. I got a little some extra to show you because Eagle Moss uh, sent this little goodie. Put my screwdriver over here so it doesn't roll off the table. Eagle Moss sent over this little goodie here. And it's quite nice. It's quite lovely. It's a little, not a little, it's a pretty big art prints. Let me raise up a little bit more because it's pretty big. There you go. It's a nice art prints. Yay. Now, they did charge me for this, by the way. This wasn't free. They did charge me for this. I think this was like 40 bucks, which honestly, if I had a choice, I probably would have passed on it. But I, I just got an email and they said, hey, we're sending you this. And then I opened up the box, I saw the receipt. I was like, oh, they charged me 40 bucks for this. Okay, but you know, it is what it is. It's still a nice print. Hey, I'll take it, I'll take it. But you can see, you got Stay Puft there. Are you a god? You know, you got uh, the dogs, Scalary Brothers, Slimer, the Ecto, and the Ghostbusters themselves, and Vigo! Oh, Vigo. A very nice art print right there. It's a Ghostbusters limited edition print title here to save the world. Artist Brian Williamson. And this is a limited edition of only 2,000 pieces. I got number 776. So, hey, it's a nice print. I appreciate it nonetheless. It looks cool. Hey, I'll take it. Why not? Dare I say, why not? I did, um, I did get a nice, uh, a nice frame for this. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I think this is going to take the place of the t-shirt. I think the t-shirt is getting demoted. I don't think we're going to have the t-shirt in the background anymore. I think we're going to have this in the background, in place of the shirt. Because I think this looks a lot better and just gives it that little bit more, a lot more color there. A lot more, a bigger pop of color, if you will. So hey, that's what we're going to do from here on now. We're going to have this chilling in the background instead of the t-shirt. But hey. It's cool though, cool nonetheless, but there you go. That's pretty much it. Now we're officially done. We're done with this stage of the build. Got to show off, did a bit of artwork and uh, yeah, we're done here. So as always, if you would like to sign up for your own Acto-1 kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out and if you missed any stage of this build there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out at your leisure and you can watch this lovely vehicle take shape before your very eyes but yeah we are done here so see you next week with the next with the blah, blah, this is my tongue stops working again see you next week with the next stage of the build and as always i hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of mgo builds stuff and remember you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face.